What up fam, it's your boy Rock coming at you with another unboxing video. And as you guys can see from the title screen, the 3.0s has finally arrived here at my house. And, and as you guys can see right here, I got two of these 3.0s. Now what did I get? <laughs> well you guys are about to find out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open these boxes. There's one. And here's two. I got two Ultra Boosts here in my hands. We'll start off with uh, this one here. Let's see what I got in this box. So you guys ready? Ready? Three, two, and one. Oh, 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 oh. God, look at this beautiful shoe right here, fam. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Just, wow. Finally, guys, I finally have a burgundy color in my collection. I've been waiting for one whole damn year to actually finally get this guy. Oh, I mean, of course I'm talking about the 1.0s, but now the 3.0s are coming equipped with the burgundy colors. And luckily the very first wave that dropped on adidas.com, I was lucky enough to capture one of these guys. Now, uh, these guys sold out super fast, so I was so happy that I did cop one. Um, the thing about it is though, I did get this in a size eight and a half. My true to size is an eight. My ultra boost size is an eight and a half. Now, just hearing some reviews, you know, people are saying just go to true to size. So, guys, I'm kind of hoping that this is going to fit me. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the shoe real quick here. All right, guys, now as you guys can see, we got the brand new 3.0s here right in front of you. Of course, we got the brand new 3.0 Prime Knit Upper. Um, of course, it's going to be all prime knit here. Um, in the prime knit here, we could see, of course, the burgundy color. Um, and also, it has white as well. And it kind of breaks up in the patterns from here, from the toe box all the way from the midfoot. And also, you do see it here on the back heel portion. Um, here's a nice little touch right here. Um, you got these stripes right here as well. Of course, we do have the new translucent cages here and then just seeing other people's reviews I was just wondering like how these cages would feel instead of like this plastic that we do get I mean obviously it's gonna be plastic but it's gonna be more of a softer plastic so it's kind of it's kind of nice it's more flexible rather than the other plastic that we found on the other versions of course you get these dope burgundy laces here with the what's this black yeah, black lace tips right here. Also got the pull tab in 3M burgundy. Heel counter, the heel cup, we do have that burgundy um, plastic. Same old stuff right there. Uh, of course, we got the boost. We're still rocking the continental outsole. You got the torsion here in black, but of course you do also have the sides here uh, in that beautiful burgundy color. Oh my God, this is a beautiful shoe. And of course you got it right here. Uh, for the insole, got that burgundy. The one thing I do want to point out, and this is going to be my very first impression of these, is the knitting on this is, as you can see, really, really, really stretchable. Like, I haven't tried these on yet, and trust me guys, I'll throw it on for you guys in a bit. To me, it kind of feels like, kind of like, close to what an NMD PK feels like. Um, it's not like really tight. So um, that's why people are saying to go down half a size because you have more room here in the shoe. Um, also, hearing from the other reviews is that the uh, the ankle here, it's it's more wide. It's more wide, so it's gonna be a better fit here. So uh, we'll see about that. But um, I'll go ahead and throw this on feet as soon as we check out the other shoe here. But my goodness, guys, <laughs> the burgundy pair. It's 
Ugh. All right, you guys ready for this? Okay, ready in three, two, and one. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> and here you guys have it. This is another burgundy ultra boost right here. Now you're saying like, right now, why did you cop two pairs? Actually, I did not. If you guys throw this side by side, you can actually see the difference between the two. Now, the one that I'm actually holding here is actually the woman's pair. This is actually called the Mystery Reds. Now, I know it looks more like the burgundy color here, but it's a little bit different. Let me do a quick 360 for you guys so you guys can see how the shoe looks like. Oh man, this is insane. I am loving this right now. This is so sick. Oh guys, you, you have no idea how happy I am right now. All right, so like I said guys, this is going to be the women's pair here. I'm actually true nine and a half in women's sizes. That's an equivalent to an eight US in men's. Anyways guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the shoe here. Now, of course, same old stuff. Got the prime knit upper, 3.0 upper uh, obviously. Uh, basically the same thing as the burgundy pair, but if you guys could take a look at it, you could tell the difference between the two. So this one right here, the red is more red while this one's more burgundy. And you can see more of the detailing here in the prime knit with the white accents as opposed to seeing the woman's pair here where it doesn't really show. Um, on my camera here, it looks like it's more white, but I, I just wanna say it's actually a lighter color of the red. So I don't know if it's a like lighter color or if it's like a pinkish color or peach color, but uh, that's what you're seeing right here in the prime knit. Looks like we got the same lace, kind of that burgundy color uh, with the black lace tips. And the cage right here, we got a translucent cage right here. We got the 3M tab here on the tongue. Now the heel cup is different. So here's the burgundy heel cup here. So I didn't mention this earlier, but uh, the branding of Ultra Boost here, it is all silver as opposed to seeing this one, it is all black. Uh, but with this one here, we also have like this really bright red heel cup. Now the cool thing about this heel cup here, um, which I don't know if you guys could see on my camera here, but it's kind of it kind of has like this marble effect. Now the cool thing about the woman pairs is I think the heel cups actually have like a marble effect. So uh, this one is called Mystery Red, while the blue one's called Mystery Blue. The Mystery Blue has a gray heel cup and has like that marble effect that I think you can see a little bit more better on that. On the bottom, the outsole, of course, we got the black outsole. You got the torsion plate in black and in that mystery red color. Or, I guess it's safe to say that we could call it burgundy or maroon. Let's just say that. Still rocking the Continentals. Love those. Uh, and then the inside, guys, uh, it is going to be in that mystery red burgundy color. Um, yeah. Honestly, guys, like, if we compare the two here, like literally this is just like the darker version than this one. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go ahead and throw both of them on one shoe for each foot and let you know my first impressions of how they feel on feet. So give me a second. My first impressions when throwing these on, the whole ankle here, how it's a little bit more wide is really nice. It's a nice touch because now it's not like trying to struggle putting your foot inside the shoe. The one thing that I was actually worried about when it comes to the 3.0s was uh, knowing that the prime knit is actually a lot more looser now, the how does it fit? Does it still fit the same? To my surprise, they fit really good. So you can get these in true size, no problem. Or you could actually go down, I want to say half a size if you really like it snug. Now, uh, knowing that I do have these two here, one is going to be my UB size, the other is going to be my true to size. Honestly guys, they both fit well. I mean, uh, I, I do got more toe room on you know this shoe um, rather than this one but it doesn't really matter because for me it still feels you know snug where it counts which is going to be around your heel and your midfoot here 
So it's still locked down pretty well because I was a little bit afraid that the, the new cages is going to be a lot more loose. But for the fit guys, you could actually just go true to size and you should be okay. If you really want a snug fit, go down half a size. So for example, I'm a size 8. I'm going to get a size 8 in these now. Um, if I really want it snug, which I don't, I'm going to go down half a size, which is 7.5. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. This is just gonna be an unboxing and a, you know, first impressions on the new 3.0s. And guys, please stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and do my detailed shots that I usually do, my on feet. And guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my full review about the 3.0s once I go ahead and wear them for a little bit. Leave me in the comments down below what you guys do think about the mystery reds and the burgundy colorway. But with that being said, guys, please go ahead and hit me up with a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy this unboxing and first impressions of the 3.0s. Share this video with other Boost Heads, Adidas fans out there because I think they'll really enjoy this. Feel free to follow me on all my social media accounts. You can find them all in the description down below. And guys, please subscribe for more content just like this. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video right now. You guys already know how we do it. We keep it cool, we keep it fresh, we keep it positive. Whatever you guys do, always boost your life and rock them cozy. It's your boy, right? And I'll see you guys in the next one.